and a title for my upcoming evergreen online course. So this, this is going to be in that vein. And then I'm going to add a little bit of presentation to that too. Okay. So the class is around stress mastering and it has to do with two fundamental things. Stress and fulfillment. So in some way I want to put together a title that would blend those two. And the word is, you want a title that's clear and clever, but more clear than clever so you don't lose folks. So in order to create there is a process through heart math that helps put us into a coherent mode that allows us to discern, receive things into our consciousness in the highest possible way. So we'll, we'll do a little heart math exercise to put us into a creative mode. And then I have index cards I just gave you that after we get into that mode for you to write down how you would actually phrase the title of my course. So I ask for your, your participation. I really would appreciate that. Okay. So the exercise is this. You can put your hand over your heart. And Keller, I love looking up. Now I tell folks to upright yourself. Oh, I like that. Yes. Actually just sitting upright. And you put your other hand, your right hand over your solar plexus. So first is focus on the feeling of your heart area. So focus your consciousness on the feeling of your heart. Let me know when you're there. You can just nod your head as best as you can. Some folks, when they do that, they get a little uncomfortable. If, you, if that's the case, then just, just focus on calming. So think about if your nose is on your heart area, and breathing slowly in through your heart and slowly out through your heart. And nod your head when you have a pattern of that. And then lastly, bring something to your heart and experience of something you've loved and appreciated something that thrills and stills your soul, something, something that brings you joy and peace. Think of that experience. Think about that feeling that gives you and breathe that feeling in through your heart and out through your whole body. Stay in the pattern of that. Find the rhythm of that. Find the feeling of that. Find the love of that. Okay. You have a sensing for that? Okay, okay we can open our eyes there. And then if something strikes you in terms of, you know, the title I have to begin with, it's called Stress Mastering. But I want to add the fulfillment part. So if something comes to mind, write down a title that I could entitle my class with those two concepts.
Here you go, Steve. Instead of brainstorming, heart story. See what you guys think. From stress to fulfillment, stress mastery for fulfillment, finding fulfillment, is it right there? Finding fulfillment and stress, use the juice from stress to fulfillment. All right. Okay. Stress mastering course, stress fulfillment, mindful calming. How to stress less to achieve a full life. Oh. Full of stress or masterful mess? <laughs> <laughs> well, if we know who, who, who said that. <laughs> That's great. Stress, fear. Is that fear or fulfillment? Who wrote that? Hey. Fear or fulfillment? Mm. Excellent. Mm. Yeah. The, the fear piece, you know, they say the word stress is just a code word for really being scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finding fulfillment through stress reduction. Stress mastering a gateway to your fulfillment. Mm. That's good. Okay. Okay, those are striking there. I like the fear piece. You know, there's a book called The Fear Cure by Alyssa Rankin, and that book, she's been on PBS, but just the word fear, and she actually she's the one who coined that, that fear is just a code word for being really, really scared. Okay, any, any input with these? You like the, someone said you like the last one? What are you doing exactly in the course? Like, I guess, what's the, because you got to do mindful breathing. It's, it's a course using heart, you're familiar with heart math? No. Heart math is a process of helping to folks learn how to entrain themselves to a, a higher coherent state. Yes. So it's integrated that along with my chiropractic background. I've blended the two. So I've, I've made my own ingenious course in, the, in ingenious. terms of the content. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Own it. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. I like the full of stress. Somehow can you play around with full of stress to fulfillment or something? I don't know. That was me. So are you focusing on kind of like talking about all Is this a speech or are you feedback now? This is, I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, this is good. Um, what, I guess because you said you're a chiropractor, so are you focusing on, are you going to be kind of some of the content on like the body, like mind-body connection? Yeah, uh, the content is uh, basically seeing how folks can better handle the stresses so they can actually experience greater health, but more than that, so that individuals know there's a responsibility for them to extend a healthy influence into the world. Okay. So the ultimate is for folks to remember what emanates from each of us makes a difference in the world. And if more of us are emanating something sound and sane, it will assist the world to transform. I mean, one, one of the things that I'm, I'm just thinking right now is mindful stress, because to be mindful of your state of stress mm -hmm. could be a gateway to fulfillment. Mm -hmm. I mean, so going through one, I mean, it could open the door to fulfillment. Yeah. But most people, I mean, they are not aware 
of their level of stress or fearfulness in life. But if, if you become aware, if you have that awareness level, that can guide you through a gateway to reach fulfillment. Good. So you like the gateway piece? Yeah. And the mindful piece. Yeah. Yes. They said a, a patient might mention, I had another title called How to Master Stress and Fulfill Your Life. But she was saying if you use the word stress first, like you did, Ken, with yours, if you use the word stress first, if folks are searching for that, you know, that term will come up first, rather than how to. But a lot of folks have how to in their titles, too. Okay, well, this is good feedback. Just, you know, this is helpful. And isn't it more your energy? It's kind of your energy footprint. What are you emanating into the world and fulfilling, yes. isn't it? Say it again. Isn't it kind of your energy footprint, the energy you're putting out into the world? And you said we're all emanating something. Yes. Yeah. That's something energy. It's energy. Your heart actually emanates a, a field that they found scientifically, yeah. and that field influences others, individuals' thoughts. So the greater coherent field that emanates from our hearts, folks will pick up on that. So you think about the kids shooting kids. They're doing that because there's a groove in consciousness right now that folks are actually getting responsive to. But if more folks are actually emitting something in the field, thoughts will have be influenced by that. So really, gun control, you know, that's not going to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. What's going to solve the problem is individuals emanating a sound influence. So that when, when kids or adults are on the edge of sanity, they can actually remember who they are what they're about, and that they're here for reasons of, of offering a blessing into the world, to remember that. Now, there needs to be a core of individuals who are doing that, and those of us here, so my audience for this is integrity-minded individuals who want to know more what it takes to better handle the stresses they have, so they can actually provide a greater sound or influence into the world. Mm -hmm. So will it be something more on influence versus fulfillment? Well, the idea is, like, that's a good point. Because you're, I mean, I don't know, I'm just... Yeah, that's a good point. Because you keep talking about energy fields and you're a unified thing, like... Yeah, that's good. Now, the idea is, you know, kind of targeting folks, like folks want to know what's in it for them. That's my thinking. So, you know, if they've message of stress better, and that's going to open a door to their own fulfillment, but the ultimate fulfillment is what they're extending out. So I don't know if that would what be... What if you said ultimate fulfillment, and you defined it? Uh -huh. It's got to be a title. It'd be in the title, though. It's got, the title can't be too long. That was thinking. But mastering, stress mastering, and your fulfillment influence or something like that? Yeah, because I mean the thing is if you if I sign up for an online course and it says one thing but then you're like I'm expecting one thing and then I get something else with it which isn't bad but it's kind of like oh wait I thought this was about this. Gotcha. And I don't hear fulfillment in what you're describing. Yeah. Okay. It, I don't hear the congruence there. Okay, so what you're saying? I know. I don't well, let's, let's, uh, the time is up on the thing, so let's go to what you like. You can get feedback on other stuff later as far as developing your uh -huh. brain tone, if that's okay. What do you, what did you like about it? I like the opportunity to, to open this up. Like Kevin asked, said there was a slot open, so I thought, let me just give this a shot and see if we can, you know, I like to use the term heart storm together, because you know, I'm in the process now of getting the title down and then developing the course. Okay, what would you like to have done better? Um, I guess maybe the exercise, a little more in the groove with that. The breathing exercise. Okay. Alright. Draw them off there. Mike? I thought I like the breathing. I love mine. That was good. <laughs> Call me. Didn't feel I think that I yes I love the uh, uh, the interaction with uh, with the audience, uh, just bringing the audience in, into what you really want the outcome to be. So eliminate in order to emanate. 
So um, those are those are that's also another um, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to eliminate the stress in order to emanate your best. Mm -hmm. So that might be also good. Something. That's good. That's good. I have it. It's on this. Um, it was just a brainstorming session, so yeah, I don't have anything you know spe uh, specific for you. So mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I liked your your um, the calm, interactive approach. You're comfortable up there. Um, there's something about your credibility that's really nice. You seem rather learned. I, I don't. So that's nice. Yeah, as Kevin said, it's sort of hard to judge it in, right. in depth yes. because right. we all know that when you start off saying brainstorming session, it's very, very difficult to do. But you get a great voice, thought the pace for what you do work well. You have movement, good smile. You always seem to have a great smile. Uh, some gestures that were specific, and you had some large ones. Obviously, you had the interaction. The for a short talk uh, overall would be, I would say, you get when you what was going to happen. It, it, Exercise is long for 10 minute speech, and you've got you know three and a half minutes of a that's not an awful, you know, it's uh, tough. But uh, posture's good, comfort level. When you finish with a prop, and your what you have in your hand right now is a prop, these are the cards you got back. When you're no longer using them, get them out of your hand. Never hold anything in a hand that you aren't using at the moment. I remember at NSA one year at the big convention, speaker came up and he had a, a tennis ball in his hand. He started his speech. And we were all sitting there thinking, okay, what's with the tennis ball? And 20 minutes into the presentation, he used the tennis ball. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest of the time, he kept holding it. Well, that's just distracting as hell because people, if you've got something like it, people's mind go to it immediately. <laughs> You know, so get things out of your hand when you aren't using. I love. I thought your your skill sets of what we are about here came up best when you were answering Denise's question. Yeah. yeah. You got into a normal presentation mode. That I I love the pace of it, the, the eye contact, the empathy, empathy that was passed along. I thought that was superb. That gave us gave me the best insight of you as a presenter. Good job. Mm -hmm. um, can we have a few minutes? Yeah, we've we got 25, right? Excellent. So. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. Talk really fast, Ken. <laughs> I will, and I, will, I think I'm going to change it up a bit of what I planned. I'm going to start with some of your basic questions. And, but I'll also get into 